It all began with dirt, two hands, one breath. Breathed straight into a body with no being until wind whipped through lungs like a torrent that provoked a still heart to beating till it beat at the same pace as its creator in perfect peace. But he soon said, it is not good for man to be alone. So as the man slept, he took bone and shaped bone. She is flesh of my flesh, said the man, and thus she became with him human. So here we were, the beginning of humanity in a garden of abundance and joy until one day, when we pivoted just far enough away from what was spoken into a lifeless realm we were never meant to live in, humanity was and is now broken. And history would take its course, through generations of relations with trials unlike we could ever imagine. The blood that now courses through our veins feels poisoned by the reality of our disposition to put power and position above our purpose. We now meet differences with indifference, disregarding the immense value that humanity was once given in its very essence. And still, we fail to recognize the persistence of the Creator that calls these bones to live in resistance to that which took over by voluntary submission. Sometimes I wonder if it could be more simple. Who are we really, and who are we meant to be? The answer is in the question. We were made to be. To be lovers and mothers, brothers, friends. To be partners and protectors and reconcilers to his name. The real question is, how? How are we to speak for his majesty? We who are so immensely flawed and marred by pain and aggression. We who strive and still come up dry when trying to provide a solution to our world's divides. However, that is exactly why we are the most qualified to speak of the divine. We who have experienced the transformation that occurs by simply abiding in the vine. How beautiful it is to be human, flawed in every way, our imperfection a mere symptom of humanity's aim. But there is hope in the reality of our God's majesty that is revealed every time we surrender to him our frailties. In the humility of our being, we can taste and see every good thing this world concealed, everything his majesty heals. You may have long ago lost hope in humanity, but humanity was never a thing meant to be clung to. Our hope belongs on a rock that will never move. Our chief existence is to belong in his presence, that those who have forgotten they were created in a godly image would come to hold his greatness in the way we offer praises. The true hope of every individual story is that we can know him, see him, be held by him, and hear his voice speaking. We have an opportunity right here, right now, and in every moment from here on out, to rest in truth and let our humanity behold His Majesty. <laughs>